game. That yeah, last game when he hit that block and he had a fast break. And then this time when Drew Holiday got the rip and threw that lob. Yo, Darth Vader. Now you know how I feel. I used to feel in the other um, set. <laughs> What's up, man? Why are you breathing so heavy? No, I just tested. Okay. okay. Checks. Now you know how I feel when I was in the other set. Like you can't see him. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta look. That's how I used to feel. Yeah. I had to like look dead in the light. Nah, see we're this gonna, John. We're gonna that light. I don't like it. <clears throat> you don't like it exactly. I was just making sure like the low tones hey. were matching the high tones or decibel <laughs> levels because it was a frequency test that went through. One hundred percent. And John, I want you to know if you don't know, but John knows that you're doing decibel checks for the for the podcast as number one in the gaming category right hey! now. <laughs> Word, you know. We number one in gaming. Hey, I'm waiting man. for Apple Podcasts to catch up and be like, um, they're not talking about much gaming. I know. So uh, in top in top ten in leisure too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Giannis had an NBA 2K moment. No cap. Yeah. I'm glad we got our gaming top again. That's right. No, I play, oh, actually, I played 2K with Michael Force, and I was killing it. I was on my court going crazy. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but 2K22 is good. I'm gonna be on that bit. It's probably not. Yeah, everyone says that like two months before the launch. And it's like, it's a too <laughs> and late. then like too late, too late to be two late. months after the launch, they're not playing. I just, need, I just need a max build. That's what you call it. I need me a build. I need me a shooter slasher. Or, the crazy thing or is the max, max the max builds in that game are like eighty three overalls. Well, I need me a ninety nine. I need a super stretch long yeah, max. Like if you're ninety nine overall player and you recreate him and create a player like, like with the rest of the NBA players, he totals up to like anywhere from eighty three to like eighty seven. Yeah. No, what about on my part though? Yeah, that's my what we talking about. Be a yeah, that's what like I that want. That same player that with same the same player. attributes and in the regular the game yes, is like an eighty five. Oh damn. So and it's I, been that way for years. I don't know why, like, they just, like, get away with that shit. Oh, that's crazy. Bro. Maybe it's tendencies. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we hit top 10 on Leisure as well, man. So the podcast is doing fantastic. We need to get our Spotify numbers up because our Apple podcast numbers are doing spectacular right about now. We need to get our Spotify numbers up. We're, like, top 20 in Leisure. I don't, I don't think we'll ever reach because Spotify, they have, like, exclusive podcasts. Oh, so they be pushing so, yeah. the podcast? They Not only they push it, but it's, like, the only way now to listen to Joe Rogan is through Spotify. So, like, you're never going to be able to, like, all, all of Joe Rogan's audio audience is you know, only on Spotify. Um, guys, I was, I was looking through the charts because I was a curious cat. And um, I have a new challenge for us, man. Curious cat. Jeez. I, I want to apply for the, the comedy category. And when I tell you it is juggernauts in that category, yo, it's it's like Andrew Schultz and Joe Rogan and it's, it's Charlemagne. It's, no, it's, it's big competition. If we could rank like top fifty in that, I'd be such a happy individual. We were we were number seven in Leisure at one point. Oh, were? Yeah. Oh what's my a, god! Can you screenshot those and send them to me? <laughs> I want to see those. You say say it again, John. What's a juggernaut? Juggernaut is like uh, you ever play Call of Duty and you get Juggernaut the perk in COD Four, or it became a kill streak at one point too. It's just it's a person with a lot of health. It's like an animal. It's a, it's a big guy. Oh, so they're just like like they're. Just really top notch, top, top notch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that category is like, I was scared just looking at the top twenty five. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. It's all like the biggest podcast. All the smoke, like everybody, boom, boom, boom. You know these podcasts. So uh, we need to try and get up in there. That's my new challenge. Hey man, if, if as long as we dominating whatever we dominating at, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I saw Cody Co was in there too. His podcast, Tiny Meat Gang, that shit is on fire as well. So, hey, all that to say, man, we appreciate y'all. The love y'all been showing on the podcast has been spectacular. It's been fantastic. I'm glad y'all been enjoying them. It's been popping on TikTok. We got our clips channel too. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's get into the intro. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. Apple Podcast, man. Y'all got us number one. Make sure to keep dropping them five stars. Um, word of mouth, people. The video is available on YouTube at Peer to Peer. You can catch us with the video available. We got the clips channel, peer to peer clips. Make sure to turn on the notifications, man, and go. No, the gang, 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 gang. Uh, me and Laura getting over a sickness. It's not COVID because I got tested. Don't get, that, don't get that shit to me, boy. No, no, no. It's just a cold. Right now, my, the only reason my, my throat is messed up because last night I was just yelling. Actually, earlier today I was yelling. So, oh, so were? That's the only reason why. Why are you yeah. screaming last night? Because I was streaming. Yo, shout out to the shout out to the streaming, man. They big love last night peaked at four thousand. Are you dead ass? I peaked at four thousand viewers. What? Average almost two thousand over a two hour stretch. No cap, bro. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah. I wish I knew, man. Yeah. Damn. You on Twitch? On Twitch. 
What's your name on Twitch? Saint Legend on it. Uh, I'll go. For, I'll, I'll make sure I follow you. By by far, no, I ain't, I'm by far out, outside of like the actual NBA. And Los? <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say in the sportings category. Los, Los hops in the sport category. Every now, and, only he only does that once a week with show. um with his show. But yeah, I guess outside of Los, Los as well. Your boy, yeah, you know. You have his guy. number, right? That's my guy. Oh, okay, okay. Outside of um Los and uh, I guess NBA dot NBA, I would argue, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I'm the biggest I am the biggest um streamer, basketball streamer. Mm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at Love. Crazy. crazy. Always innovating, man. Straight uh, crazy. How that make so. you feel more man? What's what's Twitch like? Talk to me. Um I need mods. It's like there's a lot I gotta learn about it. It's kinda odd like doing so well in one space for so long on YouTube and then having to like relearn, like go back from the bottom and learn everything. Mm -hmm. You tend to forget like how much time consuming that is. Cause that's, it's, it's very time consuming. It kind of like teach yourself the in and outs of, of, of a platform, but all in all, I love it. I, I really do love it. Cause I, I, what I realized is that at worst, even on days, even like, even on Friday when it wasn't a game, I still pulled like a thousand. So that just lets me know, like, there's an audience out there that just likes to listen to me talk about basketball, react about basketball, regardless if it's, like, a game going on, like a huge game, or if it's just, we just, I'm just talking about really anything. Mm -hmm. And so I, I appreciate that because that lets me know, like, there's a legit audience out there, <clears throat> not only for me, but also, like, just for the space in general. Like, it's clearly people want to – see someone's immediate reaction. Shout out to Kenny because he essentially does that on his channel, his second channel. Indeed. Um, so now I'm just doing it from a live perspective. And he pulls a ton just talk, just, just talking. Just not, hit the button and just, just talk. talk. Hey, so can you watch, so you react to the game live on Twitch? No, no, no. I can't do that, but you know what's so I can I can react to highlights though. Okay, okay, okay. And so I literally, after the game is done, I have highlights pulled up, breaking it down. I'm literally just doing that right after the game. Yeah, I'm about to get. I'm about to get on there. It's going crazy. Like I got a lot of people ready for it. I'm about to, what? Twitch. I'm about to go crazy. You're not talking. Oh, about, okay. Oh, okay. I you're talking about basketball. I was like, nigga, like, what? Oh no, 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 no. I'm not talking. Hopping on Twitch, talking about basketball. expecting John's John breakdown, breakdown. <laughs> oh, yeah. of the game. Oh yeah, to see me. Yeah. So basically, what's going on here? I don't know too much. Giannis kind of rolls in, and you know he's seven ten, so he throws it up. He dunks 7, it in. 10. So good play on his oh, end. Just basketball about. too. Uh, you know, um, and then something Lowe would say is, uh, you see right here, Chris Paul does a great job facilitating the ball. Facilitating. And yeah. the way he dribbles the ball, he's really an old head, but you can see the youth in him because it's vegetarian diet. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm breaking it down. I see what the coach did there. Uh, you want to... A nigga saying he's breaking it down while he's breaking it down. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dumb I, uh, I got hit up and, and they were like, hey, do you want to go on? Um, Bleacher Reports is doing some like Taco Bell promo. And they need someone to just like react to like game, not highlights, but like react to the game right after the game. Yeah, I'm so dumb, bro. So I agreed, right? I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be on Bleacher Reports. You know what I'm saying? I've never been on Bleacher Reports before, and this is lit. I'm on Bleacher Reports. So I say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the guy in text chat. I send him all the videos, right? So after game four, I'm reacting to the stuff. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Chris Middleton dropped 40. Devin Booker dropped 42. Like, I'm just reacting to some of the important moments in the game. Giannis, yeah. the big block, and all of that, right? <clears throat> now, and, then, and then I send it to him. It's two at this point. I already didn't even really want to stay up because I was exhausted. I had one hour of sleep. But I was like, and I was sick, too. And so I went to sleep. I woke up, and I was like, I ain't see nothing. So I went on Bleach Reports. I ain't see nothing. I was like, damn, they ain't really... They ain't messing with my uh, reaction. They ain't what the agent takes. They, they, ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't My feeling. agent, my agent zero takes wasn't hitting the way I thought it was hitting because I thought I kind of bodied that a little bit, man. Um, and then after the twenty four hours passed, I didn't even think much of it. I was like, damn, you know, it was cool to at least be have a shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I didn't even know if I was gonna get paid or whatever. I was like, I just gonna let it go. You feel me? Yeah. Um, next opportunity, maybe I'll body it. And then it hit me, even though you're talking to Bleacher Reports. Like they own House of Highlights, so sometimes like it's not made clear. And I, in my head, I was I was I was searching. I went on the Bleacher Report story multiple times. Like I don't see me on there just yet. Maybe they're uploading this one late. <laughs> so whole time, man, they uploaded it on House of Highlights, and I ain't know, so I didn't even get a chance to see myself. Yeah, look at this because the twenty four hours passed, man. Um, so I kind of wanted to get like a screenshot of that. That's pretty cool. What they uploaded on the story or something? Yeah, on their IG oh, story. Oh, yeah, so like it ends at the twenty. As I'm doing my like reaction, they'll like insert like their little Taco Bell ad and then get back to reactions. 
And the way they do it is kind of clever. So basically, they, they just had some money from Taco Bell. And they're like, what's some way we can make content that people actually want to watch that's not just an ad? Yeah. And I love the fact that they went in that direction. They're like, we can get anyone to react, but let's get content creators. So Kenny did one of the games in the finals. I was about to say, who else? Um, Marcel. Marcellus. Yeah, I don't think so much. He Marcellus did one of the Howard. games. So those yep. are Marcellus Howard. Those, those are the two examples they sent me. And they're like, you want to do something like this? And I'm like, yeah, of course I want to do something like that. I was, saying, I was doing extra research now. I'm trying to read up on the games. Make he sure didn't my- do no extra research. <laughs> the nigga called me. He's like, yo, give me, give me, tell, me, tell me some talking points about the NBA finals right now. I ain't watched a single minute yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I caught up on everything I need to catch up on. Bro, I was like, I can't sleep. I was, I was afraid I was going to fall asleep by accident. Because I watch, I watch games usually laying down on my bed. So sometimes when it hits halftime or something, like I'll just go to sleep because it'd be too long before the game starts again. I was dead nervous. So I got up and I was sitting on the couch just upright because I, like, I can't sleep if I'm upright. Um, so, yeah, that happened after game four. I you, you write a comedy is crazy. Comedy. Who, who's on the comedy category? Comedy is like NPR. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Schultz. Mm-hmm. Brilliant Idiots. Andrew Schultz again. Um, so we just gotta bring more funny. Toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we gotta do is add a little more funny. We can do that. And, and like, I think Joe Rogan also is in comedy as well. Yeah, he's Joe Rogan's in, in top twenty comedy for Apple Podcasts, and he he doesn't drop his podcast on there no more. <laughs> think about how big of a guy he is to be top twenty in a category where you haven't uploaded there forever. Okay, we gotta say a joke there. Okay, I got one for y'all. You ready? Okay, talk to All me, right, John. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Talk to me. All right, now, why did the chicken cross the road? Talk to me. Why? Because he was too chicken to stay on the other side. <laughs> you can get us there, John. Top 10 right there. You can get us there, man. No, we need to worry about top 50. Top 10. <laughs> I was about to say, huh? <laughs> getting top 10 in that category legit means that we would be getting like 50,000. So we got to have niggas too. like shitting Probably themselves. Mm-hmm. Yo, I think comedy, I could be wrong. Has to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest category. So niggas got to be shitting themselves every is, time they watch us. Sports is probably, mm-hmm. um, sports is probably second. So we could do that. Yeah, I can see that. We do got to have the diarrhea effect. Yeah, I get, some, I get some dad jokes ready. You know what I'm saying? Throw them right. in there, here and there. Just come in here with a couple jokes from time to time, man. You know what I'm saying? Get them laughing. Make yeah. them, you know what I'm saying? A little wet, wet their pants from yeah, the we... back end. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little sloppy seconds. You know what I'm saying? Make them go clean up and come oh, back hey, and watch it. Don't ever say that. Damn, John. You give me visuals. You, do, you see it? Cut, yes. You ever laugh so though. hard? I don't want it, though. <laughs> you ever laugh so hard? A little bit come out. You're like, man, I got to pause it and go wipe. Come back. What? Finish it up. <laughs> I've never laughed that hard, bro. I've never laughed that hard. That's the goal. No, but you said, have you ever? And I've never done that. No, I have. A couple Tell times. me this joke. I, I, yeah. So I can, so no, I can it, laugh that hard. It wasn't hard. like in a joke. It's one of the moments where you're already laughing and this shit just started uh, okay. going bad. And then he, eh, what were you I laughing at, I see though. what you're saying. Uh, I, I don't remember what I was laughing at. I think I was, you know what I'm saying? I was up there with the angels. You had point. to be, because ain't nothing that funny. There's, not, there's nothing that funny where I, <laughs> no, I it accidentally... Just, it was just shit when myself. you There's ever no start way. laughing, you laughing hard, and then some just happened, and you laughing, and then you just try to stop laughing, and some else just happened just randomly while you're laughing, and you're already laughing so hard, and like it was you already know, bound to I need to, to live come. your life because I've never had that many humorous moments happen at one time. You should one day. We should switch lives. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I can't. <laughs> no, I would be miserable in the dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Just like, sitting there looking at basketball highlights. Looking at goddamn God. charts watching, and watching Excel documents. Giannis footwork, <laughs> stat sheets, time per minute ratio. <laughs> minute depreciation. Oh, he was in there 22 minutes. Only had six points coaching to get him out. I need to email him now. Yeah. All right, okay. going to your Twitch stream. Yo, you thought I was low? Nope, it's me. So That'd I don't know shit about the game, but we're going to talk about it. So how y'all doing, chat? Nah, nah. But um, yo, it's been a been a great week again. Thank y'all for the for the support. Uh, no cap, bro. Because I would not, I would never expected us being this high up in the in the rankings. No cap, like not even I. I would definitely not have thought. Well, I yeah. guess I would not have thought because I didn't think we would be in gaming. So yeah, I I never told nobody this was a gaming podcast when we started. Why we began and it was gaming. I don't know. Cause y'all gamers. <coughs> Cause you're actually a gamer. Low look like a gamer. So it is like the only game I play apparently is 2K, and that does not qualify yeah, me as a gamer at facts. all. Facts. That is the only game he plays. Um, yo, what what happened to um India Love and, and Lil Dirk? India who? India Love is it? No, 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 no. Who no. Dirk? Who Dirk? Dirk oh, girl no. is India Royale. Okay. India Love is my girl. You know what I'm saying? So just watch your mouth when you're speaking about it. Don't don't involve her with other niggas because she's with me. 
You know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. But you made an honest mistake. It's good. I'm gonna let it slide this time. Apparently, you know somebody, somebody about to, almost somebody robbed him at their house. Yeah, they, they Bonnie and Clyde. It. Apparently, they both were busting back. They said uh, somebody broke in the house, and then they tried to rob him or off him, and then you know, Indy and Dirt went Batman and Harley Quinn. Oh, I mean Joker and Harley. And they Quinn. found him. No, they didn't find him, no. but they just started busting back. So, like, say somebody broke in your crib now, and you and your girl, or you, you and T. You broke in, y'all both busting back, you know what I'm saying? Back to back, twin glocks and beams. That's, I mean, so serious. That is literally what leads to wet dream, no cap. That's what leads wet dream. For a nigga to bust in here, and he just starts squeezing easily. With his girl? With anybody, nigga. It can be <laughs> you, it can be this nigga, it can be me. It don't matter who it is. Matter of fact, he probably won't do it by himself, just so he can say he did it by himself. Oh, yeah, he'll love that. No cap. You'll probably say that story twice a day. Yes, yes. You tell day. that story twice, twice a, a week. Day. No, twice a day. Twice a day. Twice a day. He'll tell right. you in the morning and then he'll say, that that tell you about the time when I was busting back. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Hey, look, I almost had a I think I did have a Waleed moment at the A and P house, man. So, you know, Chris came up to my room, right? Right. Uh camera Chris. Camera Chris comes up to my room. He goes, Yo, agent, is that your camera outside? I'm like, I ain't got no camera. Who's could it be? Davis is not at the... Davis was asking who's it was, so it was not Davis's. Only other person at the crib at the time was Kai. And is, Kai don't have a car. So I'm like, is it an Uber? Like, what could it be? So in my head, I'm thinking, like, I don't need a weapon to investigate. But my weapon does have a flashlight attached to it. So I, I just... And it was dark out. It was night. And, and there's not a lot of lights around in the house. You feel me? So I literally just picked up my weapon and I put the flashlight on. <laughs> I was like a SOCOM U.S. Navy SEAL trying to discover who's camping parked in front of Davis's garage spot. And we don't know who it was. Who, who just pulls up to a person's house, parks a car, and then leaves. And we don't know who it is, but we don't know who owns this blue Camry. I was about to say, what color was it? It was like dark blue. Yeah. Like, doing some investigative analysis, you know what I'm saying? I'm... I'm looking in with my flashlight, you know, trying to get some clues, you know, saying looking into the vehicle and all of that. I can't figure out what it was. And I'm like, man, I feel like we'll lead right now because I know the situation doesn't need a, a weapon, but it does not. It has a flashlight attached to it. That's very I remember that one time. Y'all should, I think. Just, y'all should just get, I know y'all, I know y'all got like the, the gates locked up and stuff like that, but y'all should still get cameras though. Oh, no, 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 no. We had cameras set up and all of that. So why, how is it that somebody could get into the house and nobody don't know about it? it it's not that we didn't, it's okay. The two people that have access to them, was NA at the moment. So, and you live in a place and you don't have access to the cameras? I don't, I live in this house and I still don't have access to these cameras. I don't care, bro. I don't oh need notifications God. pinging me every time. You got Batman. You got with Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I think Kyle was pulling a prank. Kyle put a hoodie on and walked through the back. I'm talking about. You would have thought we No, were. no, not, Yo, can I tell a not, story? In, not in this house. Can I no, tell a not story? in this house. The other, Yo, John, at the John, 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 the way John he moved in, he moved like, 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 he was a certified purple hearted, night encrusted Navy SEAL. He came out. I'm just like, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm, I'm, it's, my, it's my time to go. It's my time. I don't argue with God. I said, if I'm going to go out like this, I'm going to go out like this. <laughs> Waleed trying to fight him. Waleed going to go nah. out there. And then, because I mean, like, if we, if we go out there, and he's not successful. We're all fucked. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's like, the last line. And now of the he didn't, right they didn't got the they didn't got the gun, man. You know what I'm saying? Now we we're fucked. So it's like either you succeed or we fail. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, man, oh, I prayed yo, up. When we were doing the A and P surviving in the woods for a 24 hour video, it was pitch black. And it's it's at this point, it's like it's midnight. It's pushing one a.m. No, I think it was about two a.m. If I'm not mistaken, one two a.m. We're in pitch black in the woods. Mm-hmm. We're like a 10 minute walk, maybe let's say five to 10 minute walk away from the actual campsite. And we found a campfire. So we bu- brought a whole bunch of like lighter fluid, poured it all over the stuff. Boom. We shot the campfire scene. Now, you watched the video. You remember we had a campfire scene. Now, after that campfire scene, and I can't remember, I don't know if this went up on AMP exclusive afterwards, um, but we heard some sounds and it was like, oh, and it, it, oh, and I got the footage. And oh, you got yeah. the footage? Yeah, I, I just took it out because I didn't put it on YouTube. But it was on, it was in my book, Bigfoot video. So I was looking for Bigfoot, and we were just going through the woods. And I saw them over there. I said, like, "Oh, let's go scare them." And I just but saw a bunch. Shouldn't of, have done that, bro. I just saw a bunch of beams. I'm not lying. There was like two guns pointed with lasers behind the tree he was hiding behind. So we knew there was a person in the woods, pitch black. We knew that they chose to hide behind this tree trunk. 
Yeah. And we had two guns pointed right at there saying, yo, come out right now. But I didn't know, I didn't know that, I didn't know they saw me. So I'm like, they don't see me. I said, they don't, they don't see me. And I'm right there. And, I, and I'm, I'm behind a tree, right? I'm, I, and I just see like lights. I said, oh, sound, they flash like bright as fuck. I said, that's, 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 a, that's a red flash. Like, hold on. I look back. I put my leg out, right? But the guy said, hey, I saw his leg. I said, they see me. I said, so I came out. I said, hey, it's me. It's me. I just see this Stone Mountain light show, laser show. <laughs> and so, so they was like, "Oh, it's John, man! John almost got fired on." So then, man, you know, like, Davis. Three, four minutes Davis goes from by. The trenches. Boy, you almost got with him. You almost got with him. Davis was nervous. So three, I know. three, four minutes goes by. We hear some more footsteps, and, and I'm like, "All right, I'm, gonna, I'm like, I'm already thinking like it's probably just somebody, but the person wasn't coming out again. So now we got more guns pointed in his vicinity, and we don't know where he is. And then CB pops out. And I'm like, damn, y'all need to start announcing yourselves because if we're saying, you're like, who's that? And you I don't for, respond. I forgot, and I forgot we hear, y'all had uh, Duke, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Owl Man. <laughs> uh, I think that's, that's it. Uh, and Duke and the Punisher? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's Ooh, like, Duke, and, and Willie has his laser uh, on too. So, like, you who can the nigga see. Who's from Suicide Squad? Well, who's Will Smith from Suicide Squad? I can't remember. Oh, Hitman. I think it was in there. I can't remember at all. You got Hitman, and then you, and got, you got the Punisher. Release Owl Man. We need just waiting on that day. Yeah, no cap. We need just, dead ass. just waiting to see, man. I, I don't know. He, I guess he just think he's the only one with one. That's how you act. Like, nobody else got one. Like, he be, <laughs> like I'm like, Lee, you're not the only one with one. It's like, it's, it's not a good thing you to get in one. In a, in a, like, you don't care, dog. Like, I'm just, I'm, I, he was like, yeah, I got my. I said, okay, if he got, what does that matter? No, you know Willie, what I'm saying? He loves that stuff. Willie texted me the other day. He's like, your extendo just came in. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yo, what if what if we do a paintball, a paintball or a laser tag video and like purposely make Willie lose and be like, yo, how you lose us in paintball? But no, you, he's gonna be mad. You gonna think, he yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be like, yo, my, my gun, my gun <laughs> sensory was off. It wasn't even balanced. My like, paintballs. Whoa, were... whoa, Willie, what are you talking about? You supposed to you be able to just navigate that. He got more air pressure. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna make an excuse. He gonna, Yo, he, what? He, I'm dead. Ass. He'd be pissed as hell. We literally rigged it for us to win, because then he's gonna be gassed to do that. Well, you gotta bring you, gotta bring, a, you gotta bring a gun specialist, a gun specialist, and just hype him up. Like, like, oh my gosh, you know so much about gun. I wish I knew somebody that knew had this knowledge <laughs> about that. Right by the lead, was it? Uh, Duke know. and Aim both went to the military. They probably yeah. know a lot. No, you gotta find somebody. Nah, uh, yeah, because he's not gonna. You know, he can argue. You gotta find somebody that's certified. Like, you know, he gonna, he gonna argue with he, both of them. He gonna argue with both oh, of them. He gonna, he gonna argue. He gonna both. argue. But you gotta find somebody he can't argue with. Like, you gotta be an old white guy. <laughs> yeah, old white guy. He was like, wow. And then stuff that Willie told us, like, like, oh, when you when you have when you hold a gun, you gotta put don't put your hand on the trigger on the side. Say, I didn't even know that. Like, I wish someone would have told me that before. <laughs> he said, John, I told you that plenty of times. Remember I told you that? No, you didn't really. Be quiet. The specialist is talking. <laughs> He's going to be tight. He's nah, yeah. Be so, but I did, I did equip my, oh, my thing. He might, with he might bust a blood now. vessel. There's no additional bullets in this weapon, but it does have an extender with half an empty mag now. It looks way cooler. Mm. Let's be honest. It looks way cooler. So you just got a display. Shout out to yeah. Yeah, you. Do that's, that's, it's really like having fake vents on your car is what I have. Shout out to Dirk, man. You know, he had a... What happened to him, man? Is. He, yeah, that's just what we just had. He, so he yeah. fired He fired on the... He fired... He they fired, fired back. Busting back. He's in Atlanta, too. Yeah. And they shot him? They, I guess they came in Probably and they ended in gunfire. But I guess they tried to break in, and then him and India went out like Bonnie and Clyde. And just started busting back. They weren't having that. But you know what Future said? I took my... I took my... I turned my man to a shooter. Or it didn't go like that. I, I couldn't picture the beat in my head. You know that song with Steve Harvey? Tell Steve Harvey I don't want to. Oh, I don't know. I, I've, I've only heard that song once. I turned my main bitch to a shooter. It don't go like that, but he said that. I get the vibe. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad they uh they survived, man, on some Queen and Slim. I got to introduce Willie to a sniper, I girl. Still haven't. Hey, yeah, have you seen um Space Jam? I haven't nah, seen it. Nah, I don't have it. Watch it. It's good? You seen it? I was trying to watch it on HBO Max, All but. Right, I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all then. Is it good, though? Oh, you is, it, is it better than Fast 9? I haven't seen Fast Nine yet. Oh, Everyone told me Fast Nine is horrible. Nobody told. I told Willie that plenty of times. I told Willie that nine, 19 times to be exact. And I said nobody told me it was good. I didn't get an okay. I said everybody said it was ass. He said I still want to go see it. It's gonna be amazing. I said Willie. I said just listen to him. He said no, 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 no. I gotta go see it. I seen all the other ones. I gotta see this one. I said Willie. I said I'm telling you, you're gonna waste your money. Just watch it bootleg for free at your at your theater. You got a theater down? No, I got I got I got to feel the, the sounds or whatnot. Calls me afterwards. The worst movie ever. I said, you just paid $15 to see Ludacris 
fly to the moon and, and, hey, and hey, get hey, back. Hey. Damn, it's ass. It's on the trailer. It's in the trailer. I didn't want to watch trailers neither, my guy. Oh you going to go, you go, you go pay to watch that? <laughs> I, 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 listen, I'll, I'll wait till it comes out on Netflix. Man, and will. I'm saying, oh, what you... Too. <laughs> like, do do you really want to see Ludacris go to the moon and barely make it back to Earth with no gas? It, they're basically superheroes now. Why they're would not you even spoil the whole thing for me. Huh? That's not yeah, even. Yeah, a, it's in the trailer. and That's not the whole thing. It's not I the don't whole watch thing. trailers specifically. To it's avoid. really not the Fast Nine. It's let me the, let me let me spoil. It's the um, Justice League. Let me, let me spoil Space Jam for you. <laughs> don't do that. LeBron wins, dog. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Bruh, I, I also I didn't don't even trust see. what he said. No, Le- I mean obviously LeBron. Wins, when they, when they stop racing in, in Fast and Furious. You think you think gonna let you think they gonna let Dame win, nigga? Come on now, that nigga get knocked out the first time every year. Come on, dog. You think they gonna let AD win, huh? No, nigga. You think they gonna let Clay win over LeBron? No, nigga. I'm flattening your tires. I'm trying to figure out when the last time Fast and Furious had a race. Now them niggas are super. Yeah, y'all remember old Fast and Furious? Like they hold on now. Fast, hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, Nobody wait. Stop. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. All right. Now, in Fast and Furious 2, Sean, what was his name? Sean. Sean. Um, what's the name? The white guy with the R3? You told us to stop, and you, you don't even stop. know who these people <laughs> are. I, I, I forgot. I haven't watched it in a while. What was, what was the name? You talking you know about the gentleman that passed away? Yeah, what's his name? His name is, um, his name was, um. God, we suck. No, no, no. I know, know it. I know You don't know, know it either, bitch. His oh, name. would have said something. No, wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 What are you doing? Is it Brian? What are you doing? Brian, no, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, Brian McCartney. It's Joe Lacob. Who? No, no, it's, uh, he has blue eyes. He's a white. It's Bradshaw. No, it's, uh, Brian. No, don't look it up. Don't look it up. Doug. Don't look it up. No, 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 let me get it. Let me get it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Let me get 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 it. I got it. I got it. John, you got 30 seconds. Okay. No, give me 45. Okay. All right. 45. His name is, is, is Brian. The first name Brian, right? No, it's not. Okay. That's wrong. I knew it. I knew it was wrong. He looks like a Brian, though. Uh, his name is, his name is Dot. Um, damn. I know him. I know him. I know him. He's dead now. Hold on. Paul Walker. Fuck. Paul Walker. Con. Yes. Yo, you Paul were Walker. making this work. Why would you say that? No, because I was trying to see if I can get the song. <laughs> na, 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 His name isn't in the song, na, John. Na, 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 they don't say, na. it's Paul Walker. <laughs> <laughs> They're not singing that, nigga. Okay, let me get back to what I was saying, dog. <laughs> Paul Walker put up in this beautiful R32, man. Got the neon lights underneath. These guys are doing races they shouldn't be doing. Doing put mods on the car they shouldn't be doing. And that's the structure of the fucking movie, right? Yeah. Great movie. At the end of the day, it's all about family. 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 Now the first one wasn't though, because that was before um Vin Diesel got involved. It was just it was just Paul Walker and uh yeah, no, I, I prefer the, I think Fast Two is when the series got lit, uh personally. No, no, no. Now look, when Tokyo Drift came out, I'm telling y'all, I remember from fucking experience, people hated Tokyo Drift. But my mom allegedly went to the Chinese mall down the street and got the thing. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's one of the only movies I had and we didn't have cable. So I just watched it over and over and over again. I fucking love this movie. Now was the main character really bland? Yes. But Han main convinced me that Toyota Corollas were the best cars out. I swear to God. Cause he put an engine in his and he won races. So I was just like, man, I want a three, three fifty Z man, mom. I want to, and yo, no cap. I grew up wanting to just like drift. No, it made you want to purchase the vehicles. Like, um, what was the name? Mike? Who's that black kid in Japan? What was his name? Oh, uh, Bow Wow? Yeah. What was the name of the show though? In the movie? I didn't watch that movie. Actually. Okay. I don't know. He pulled out with the most generic entry level car and made it look like the most lit shit on planet Earth, dog. And when it went, my life be like, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. And then his car came up in the 360 garage that they, they made went, for him. They went from make you want to. I've never seen it, though. They so made, you never watched Tokyo Drift? I never watched Tokyo Drift. Bro, if you watch Tokyo Bro. Drift, you, you, you might actually, uh, you'll be like, oh, this is why people like the series. Yeah, I mean, everything before, I think around after but five and six, it started getting a little, little <laughs> yeah, iffy. I stopped at three. But three like, but like five, before, they were, like, Tokyo they were pushing Drift, it with five. Tokyo Drift made you want to drift, but now they make you want to enlist in the military. Now they work with the government and, and do I don't, I don't think I've seen any of them with The Rock. No. I, I, st- I stopped at three. I keep getting confused because isn't Idris Al- Alba in it too? Yeah, what? yeah, he is now. He is? Isn't he? Yeah, I, 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 I forgot Fast Furious. I thought it was G.I. Joe. They went from fast. It, it blends in. The Fast 8 kind of, I, I liked it. A, I liked the beginning because it was that Cuba scene where he, he told you what well, he tells us all the time. It's not about the car. It's about the driver. 
and he raced in that little beater and somehow beat that other car because he did some mods to it or whatever. And that's how it started off. And I'm like, yes. By the end of it, they're they're like drifting on ice in the Antarctic. And, and it's like, God yeah. damn. Yep. What? We got to take racing. down nuclear missiles and what? what? <laughs> so you got regular niggas like just driving, just doing missions now. Now, niggas even have space training. Ludicrous. Like, out of all people, ludicrous. <laughs> imagine writing that script too. Imagine imagine you telling yourself we about to send Luda in space. Ludicrous <laughs> in space. And then he gonna find a way back to Earth with no gas. And like, then this is like no fuel. Like with this, Tyrese yelling in the back. And then Vin Diesel. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Vin Diesel so fucking in the press. We're in fucking that space, he bro. He has to get Dwayne the Rock Johnson in shape for the role. And the internet was like, hold on, Dwayne The Rock Johnson needs to be getting you in shape for the role because he's a good actor. And Vin Diesel was talking like he was a goddamn, you know, some kind of war winner with the shit. I, I don't know. And man. I get it. It's Vin Diesel's series. So, I you know, you got to show love. I want to see Purge. That's what I want to see. Oh, is there a new one? Yeah, new one. Did it come out? I, I think it know. just did. Maybe two days ago or something like that. Yes. It's that's a, what I want to see. Bro, I love another, that series. Um, that series needs to be real. There's another Escape Room game. Um, uh, movie too. Oh, I saw it. I, I didn't. I didn't like that. I don't know why I liked it so. <laughs> bro, what is wrong with you, bro? Those two, two of my one of my favorite series back to back. Because I love, I love yeah. shit that would never happen. But what if? I love yeah. that shit. What if you get trapped in some shit and you gotta escape? The Escape series, the first one especially, was fire. It basically that's just Saw though. In the oh, purge, no. in the it's it's not, just not, not, What not, happened? What would you not. do if y'all got in stuck it's, in no, Saw? It's, it's not exactly like Saw, but. It what, essentially what would y'all do if y'all was in Yeah, the what would you do, Lo, if you got you was walking in a grocery store and all the doors locked and then you was in saw you was in a saw game? Oh, I was in a saw game or the yeah. purge? Do the saw. purge. The purge is Do the saw first or do the purge next. You in a saw game. It's you and seven other people and, and, and you in Aldi and the grocery store just locked. And up. I don't know any of these people? You don't know any of these people. I'm just trying my hardest to survive. So when they say like the first the first mission, you have to cut a finger off to advance. I'm cutting my finger off. Yeah, that's I'll cut my finger. So that's saw. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you cut. That's your see, that's the difference between. So, I guess that is a difference because escape room, you don't really have to like do shit. do nothing crazy you to yourself. Die, don't you, you just you hmm? can st- you can still die if you don't get out the room, but you don't necessarily do nothing. Hold on, hold on, to hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on. When y'all say escape room, is y'all talking about when they're like in a village and they have to escape? And there's a oh, I'm thinking the Maze Runner. No, we're talking about escape room. You okay, which was this one? Escape escape room is literally, literally like similar an office, to saw. like an office building, but it's like it's 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 high tech in each room. It's literally has, an escape room. Yeah, I've seen a couple movies like that. Netflix had an original like that. Yeah, it was one. And there was also one. Do you remember the one that had like fifty stories? I think that's the, oh, yeah, I forgot what it, the platform. Pla- I remember Netflix. that. At the, the, the bot, the food starts at the bottom or the top. Yeah, no, yeah. it starts at the top and yeah, goes down yeah. to the bottom. That was a hard movie. And too. then each each day or each some couple of days, you move your number randomly changes. So you can end up being at the top and get most of the food to be at the very bottom. Can you imagine that? And then you don't get nothing. Like niggas be spitting. You watch the movie? It. No. What is the premise that? is incredible. What is that? It's, it's called crazy. the platform. There's 50 levels, uh-huh. right? And each level is like it's a square. It's not a big amount of space. You're trapped there. You're a prisoner. At they put all the food at the top. The person at the top at floor 50 eats. Then it gets dropped to the floor underneath him. He has like five minutes to eat underneath him. Underneath him. By the time it gets to like 25, there's no food left. You just eating like and bones each and week strap. they randomize which floor you're on. So if you get floor three, three weeks straight, then you're dead. You stud, you die of starvation. You die. But, but you could be blessed and have all the food. It is 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 actually and you have a teammate there with you too, and you guys can kill each other at any point, and they'll just replace whoever dies. It's a very good premise for a Wait, show. So did, did it? Did, I think I remember. Did it end up escaping? Somebody ended up escaping. I forgot what happened. Or do you? Do you? Is it a prison sentence? Is like a. I don't I don't remember honestly and I'm hoping I continue yeah. to forget so I can rewatch it in a couple of years brand new. The only only thing I seen was um I watched The Boys on, on Netflix. No, on I didn't Amazon watch that. Prime. What is that? It's like an off-brand superhero kind of It's like an off-brand um Justice League? No, no, no. no. I mean, yeah, I guess it's like it's, if you took superheroes and you you it's a more realistic and you made money off them. But what is what is is there's an actual comic book series like that where the dude is blue like the hue he's blue and there's like a um Dude with the white, he has a white thing on his face, and um, damn, damn, I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about. Hey, the, wait, wait, wait. The, the thing in the movie was a smiley face, and there was blood dripping from the thing of the smiley face. It was a superhero movie. Yes, and they, they were all said again. In the in the, the main superhero, the antagonist, who was he wasn't the antagonist, but 
he was huge. He was blue. He was literally glowing blue. And this was taking place in like the 70s. And then the guy who was going around exposing everybody had a white, his name is Rorschach or something like that. He had a white fat, uh, white mask on. I don't know, and, bro. Uh, this guessing game is hard. Oh, my gosh. Know. White mask. I don't, I don't know this game. Hey, John, what would you do if you was Watchmen? on Purge? Yes, Watchmen. That's it. Watchmen. Watchmen. It's similar to Watchmen, Watchmen. but it's, it's way more government-oriented. Oh. Uh, it's, actually a, it's actually really good. So what are you about to say? You made us guess all of that just to give a comparison. I guess. That's what we were looking for. You about, to say, you about to say Purge? Yeah, what would you do if you was in there? In the Purge. I'm staying the fuck out the way. I was about to say. I'm staying for, ain't, ain't no I wouldn't even, for I wouldn't even, I'm about to say, I wouldn't even get it's involved. Like, it's like, I can die any moment from a nigga just want to kill me, a racist, or yeah, no. anybody that just, maybe somebody just don't like me, just jealous, or just anybody just want to have free fun to get they, they sharp shooting up. But it's like, you have, you'll have people waiting at the bank for people that think they're going to, people may, may do non-violent <laughs> crimes, but you're going to people out there that just want to get violent for no reason. And they can just do it for free. That's serial killer journey. There's actually movies out there. I mean, there's actually videos on YouTube that show you, like, how do you win the purge? Like, how do you stay alive and benefit from the purge? And Which, I mean, you benefit afterwards. Like, if I if I go to a job application and I go, hey, are you guys hiring? Um, no, we're fully staffed right now. Purge in two days. All right. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll reapply. About to pack up some employees. So I'll, you be, can I'll get be back. back. So you oh, the, that's your favorite employee? That's employee of the month? How you doing, Josh? Oh my you like God. that job? Don't you, Josh? The problem with the purge is that, like, you could be wrong, but it doesn't matter. Like, look, on my way here, there was a the guy in front of me. He had, like, eight opportunities to do a left turn. And I was honk. I started honking because I was like, yo, bro, I can't be back here forever. Man. Take your left turn, bro. And I just went around me. him and went. Now, in my experience of what just happened... He didn't know how to drive. He was too nervous to take all these available left turns, so I just went around him. But in his interpretation of what happened, I was being impatient and dangerous. So he could pat me up over that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful how you treat just about anybody. No, personally. Oh, it's a movie about that a road rage movie on Netflix. I, wa- I watched it. That's crazy. I watched it. I forgot his name. Y'all be watching movie. I, I watched it. I watched get, that. It's, I on, wanna, it's on Amazon Prime. I want to get on. I want to get in movies like that, bro. I just be. I forgot it, what it was called. That came out like six months ago, right? I don't know. My mom had it on. I just, it's it's I be, the white guy in a pickup. Yep. And, yep. and, and, and it was a black him. family. No, it was a white. It was a white family. It was a. It was a white lady and her son. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he. And, and yep. I and, watched that. Show. I went on a date and watched that. No cap. And he went crazy. It just makes you like I don't hunk at people. You never know nobody having a bad day. I just don't, if it don't dire me, like, if you about to crash me, I'm going to give you a light. Like, yo, I'm right here, hunk. But I'm not going, uh, 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 fuck you. You should have learned your mama raised the bitch. Uh, you know, all that other stuff. What up, podcast people? It's the one and only legend of winning, a.k.a. Low. And this portion of the podcast is brought to you by our good friends, Manscaped. It's summer. Get sweaty. You got to take care of yourself, gentlemen. For my ladies out there, if you got any boyfriends or even your father, I promise you, Manscaped is the perfect gift for you. And guess what? They have the perfect package. First things first, this perfect package is a good old reliable, the lawnmower 3.0. We call this the triple Bs right here on this set. It covers your butt, your back, and your balls because they will thank you when you get done. Nice, smooth, get the nice angles, got the LED light on it so you can watch what you're doing. And on top of that, Manscaped has the technology on this nice trimmer that you make sure you don't nick yourself. And on top of that, it's waterproof and cordless. Also in the package, you have the Crop Preserver, anti-chafing cream. Put it down there, your balls don't stick, you be running smooth all day long. And then finally, we got a Crop Reviver, put it down there and make it smell all nice and juicy all day long. My goodness, I'm telling you right now, Manscaped will have you covered with those three key ingredients, but it gets better. They also give you anti-chafing boxer briefs, and they also give you a travel pack, and they do it for free, for free, dog. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure you go to manscaped.com and use our promo code PTP20 to get 20% off and free shipping when you order anything on the site. Again, that is PTP20 to get 20% off and free shipping on Manscaped. Again, huge shout out to manscaped.com for sponsoring this portion of the podcast. That's to crazy. answer your question, how I'll do the purge, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm filing my taxes. And I'm, and I'm filing them incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm filing my taxes incorrectly. They can still audit you later, though. <laughs> Nigga, you going to you the cash? Oh going yeah, no, you every can't. Everything illegal is everything illegal is legal for the day. Yeah, for the day. Yeah, but if you audit, if you audit, if you file your taxes illegally that day, and it's and it's noted that day, you know, you, like you send a payment off of your credit card. And it dates for the 16th, so it'll be dated on the day everything. And I'm not, I'm not going to respond to them only on the day of the purge. I'm like, y'all niggas want to catch me next year, nigga. <laughs> niggas never go pay the government. <laughs> I ain't never paying the government, nigga. They're they going to have to make a new number of debt. I don't I don't know what I would do. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Stay I in mean, the house? I, yeah, mm, I would, I would just stay Nah. Out. Nah, I would want to go out just and do, as and do, what? I would want to see what the rest of the world is like. I don't want I don't want the news I'm, to get all I'm the action. Pretty, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be niggas like live streaming what's happening. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna see with my eyes. You could live stream the coral reefs in Australia. I still wanna visit. <sighs> yeah, but that motherfucker don't got uh you wanna AK. jump out of plane? Jump out of plane? Yeah. I mean, do I have a parachute? I guess you can oh, yeah, do an aerial sure, view. You can watch from the sky or a helicopter unless somebody blow your shit up. Yeah, so somebody so, can blow your shit yeah. up. I mean, I hope they're not shooting RPGs at the sky. They could. They could. All right, okay. Why wouldn't they? We're stopping. I guess it would be a, it would cost a, nothing. It would oh, cost that nigga a lot of money. Safe, huh? It would cost a lot of money safe. because them javelins is not cheap. The ones in MW2. <laughs> oh my god! But for the <laughs> purge, just, niggas gonna have fun. Yeah, but the, who's having fun? You have to be a very rich man and. Who, who Nick, just has anti-aircraft missiles at their crib, dog? Nigga had an RPG in Chicago. I don't know how he got it. It was yeah. in the trenches. You can get stuff, bro. I'll, I'll trade you 13 kilos of cocaine okay, and give I'm, me something. I'm currently talking about... You're talking about an RPG. An RPG you can find in the black market. I'm talking about anti-aircraft missiles. I'm talking about anything that can take your shit out. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, an AK-47... It has to be... It has to track me. An AK-47 take your shit me. out. All I do is take your pilot out. With what? A gun, a gun nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> you crashing, nigga. What, nigga? I don't got to shoot you yeah, all down. Bullets is anti-air. No, they, shoot bullet, they shooting bullets at me as long as, you know what I'm saying, they don't hit my propeller, I'm straight. They hit your pilot, nigga. You nigga, know how to drive an air? Oh, no, 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 no. I know how to fly. So you going to be flying? My helicopter. You nigga, take, they're shooting everything, <laughs> It takes six bro. months to get your helicopter license. I know. And it's going to take one start, bullet for you to lose your life. Hey, no, 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 once no, no, one no. nigga starts shooting it, it's going to be a riot. Okay, maybe I won't be in a helicopter. Then where you going to go? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be in my I'm going to be in my scooter. Nigga, you're gonna die. <laughs> if I see you no, out I, with that hood, I, like okay, that, look, that fit I'm right there. I'm filing my taxes incorrectly. Um, I'm definitely. I'm renewing right. the tags on my car. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm doing a lot of house cleaning. I'm registered. <laughs> I'm signing up 13 PPP loans. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing. I'm, yeah, I'm doing shit. I'm doing 13. I'm, I'm doing P- shit. I've been putting off for a while and doing it illegally. That's no exactly cap. What I'm doing. No cap. What's something that is like just more convenient to be done illegally, but you got to do it legally? There's a lot of things. Shopping. Wait a minute. If I shopping rob a for, bank the day before the for food would be way more convenient if it was done. Uh, if I no, rob, you can't you can't hit a grocery store during the purge. I know. I'm just saying, but it take you out. Yeah, they take you out. Uh, if I rob a bank before the purge, <laughs> you get grocery shopping during the purge is a sick nigga. You rob a bank before the purge and then it, it, it count afterwards. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine you pulling up, the siren goes off, and you're like, man, I'm trying to get my tomatoes. <laughs> Niggas in there again. Pull up the fucking Kroger and produce. You got Whole Foods looking for the the organic section. You, you catch just or- off. You off. Yeah, you catch an organic bullet to your head. That's crazy. <laughs> Think about everybody. Look at Eric, all the crazy. Be I feel bad for the crackheads. They don't got nowhere to go. Them niggas is going to be target practice. They're going to clean the street with them. Oh, my God. Yeah, they would. It's going to be no homeless. Unless. But that was. But for that, if that, that one. What, what um, purge was that? It was like the third purge where they were like saying the whole, the whole premise from the purge from the rich people was to eliminate the poor people. Oh, it's so only the rich. You know how much killing you'd have to do as a rich person to eliminate all poor people? about the cleanup. All the Most bodies. people is poor people, bro. Well, no, I'm talking about poor enough to where, like, they're out homeless, oh, the homeless? and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm all, it, oh, that, damn, bro. You got niggas just taking them out just to take them out. And then you have the government involved acting as civilians to do certain stuff. You're going to have private hits done. Is that is that really a good idea? There has to be some rules, though. No. Like, whoever is handling the nuclear explosives has to has to be like on his job that day. <laughs> like you can't just. I mean, no, no, no. That is a good question. No, no, no. Remember, why? that's a, is no. That, they had some people are exempt. The president, a government exclusive, or certain people are exempt from the purge. I know. What, what is that? Is that is that a worldwide thing? Because why why wouldn't there just be nuclear war? On I think it's a U.S. That's what. That's another thing I thought. I didn't think it's a worldwide thing. It was. Just, it, apparently I thought it was. It was, I thought U- it was just a U.S. thing. It was just in the U.S. So why why States. would the other countries not attack us? Because it's not legal for them. 
Nigga, what does that matter? There's no legality in war. Nigga, they, I'm saying they just they they flew a plane in like, the, in the a bunch of treaties. But I mean, the purges. Yeah. I guess for only for U.S. citizens, right? I get that, but during the purge, when Americans are so split apart from one another, where they're hiding in their own houses, and the president is, he just the, the, he he just left the will alone for the for the day. There's no way that I'm not if I'm another if I'm a rival country that I'm not. It gotta be it gotta be a, it gotta be know. some type of written treaty on the purge that you can't interact war because after this is going. But if it's a worldwide thing, understandable. But I'm talking about if, oh. it's a, if it's a country thing, yeah. If I'm another country, why would I not just attack them? Because you may have, it, it, it gotta be some legality saying because if you just if we gonna purge, you gonna come over to nuke us. I mean, it gotta be something written that this is our holiday. Like like Martin Luther King Day or like Fourth of July, you Niggas know what I'm saying? Does not take off. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to take off for the purge. <laughs> imagine Osama bin Laden. You imagine Osama bin Laden. Like ah, let's get, let's get February off. You know, like History Month. I'm like nigga's not, nigga's not gonna care, dog. But I, I do. I don't know. I would. I I would probably do. I'll try to well, save I'll do my up. taxes. I'll, I'll save my taxes. I just save up and get me a bunker and just kind of just call it a night. Oh yeah, I would for sure save up as much as possible. Take advantage of the I'd at least show up to a couple of car dealerships, you know what I'm saying? It's not yeah, worth it. They're gonna it. be sitting there waiting for you. It's like when I hope if, not. if I own the car dealership, they're not risking their lives for these cars, bro. Yeah, they are. I mean they gotta they gotta, they gotta, they gotta protect their investment. And also if there's sick people out there who just willing to just take lives just to do it, bro, they're gonna be like, I know what they about to go do. And they about to go roam the strips with the um car dealers. And then dealership. like It'll be better if you go outside, bro. It's just like it's not worth it. When you think it's about not. it, unless you, unless you, it's not unless you were a, a Navy SEAL and you're armed and you got strapped for days, <laughs> you got a mission you're going to do with a team. You just going out there all willy nilly. You gonna meet somebody. Yeah, you are gonna meet somebody that you pray to. Yeah, I'll probably just chill on an island low key and commit a lot of white collar crimes. <laughs> Yeah. I'd say how much money I can launder in 24 hours. That's oh, a fact. I would can, immediately start committing crimes, dog. Or, immediately. <laughs> or somebody can hack you. All the hackers will be legal. So all the money you launder, they're gonna oh, take straight from you. True. I didn't even think so about they don't that. let you they let you steal the money and then take <laughs> and it straight from you. Yep. Nah, that'd be wow. Yeah, everything is legal. So everything you think about doing is people that specialize. Yeah, I'd probably like invest in that save the kids coin. Mm. Too early? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna invest in save the John's ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm legitimately I'm I'm just I'm just chilling. Out I'm just saying out. it's nothing like when I think about it, bro. Not only that, no, dude, you wouldn't do nothing. There bro. will be there will be no reason for like apartments anymore. What do you mean? Why would I? Why would I have an apartment? Just think one day. That. I mean, it's one day, but I mean, I, I. It's much easier for me to just break into an apartment, though. I mean, but is it? Yeah, I mean, but that's when you gotta go. What? If you have, but that's the thing is, if you don't have the money, if you have the money to, to solidify, you know, they had the doors where they had like the, the extra enforced doors where they did that. But I mean, like if niggas trying to get in your room, they're going to get in that room. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, if you don't do nothing, like, I mean, niggas may not target you unless, unless somebody has smoke with you. I don't think niggas just going door to door, just killing everybody in that thing. They not, but I mean, technically, I'm pretty sure they're not going. I wouldn't put it past me, but I don't think nigga just going to each apartment building, just killing everybody. But you're just way more vulnerable and susceptible to something happen to you. Damn, you can't even drive nowhere because it's the whole United States. So it's like you can't just drive the whole night. The niggas going to be putting barriers. Unless you you just got to be. What if you just get a boat and go on like Lake Erie? That's what I said. Just go to the country, man. Go to the country. They're going to kill you out there, too. In the country? In the middle of the. Space for you to have fun in a in country. the boat. Yeah, niggas oh. gonna be on a boat. If I see you on a boat, uh, let's, let's let's see if they got some straps on them. I mean, no, I'm I'm gonna have protection on me too. Though I'm talking about if I just sit in the middle of the ocean or middle of the boat, middle of a lake, a All huge right. lake. So you got it. So you're gonna be in. The, you got to be in the lake before the purge starts and just yes. sit there. And then you got to let nobody see you. Nigga, everybody's preparing for this the days before. Yeah, but once it starts, y'all to not afraid no if, more. If if it's only in America, y'all could just leave the country. Yeah, yeah, you can. You could. Those plane tickets be expensive. Expensive. Airlines probably make a killing off of that. Why? You're taking a boat to an island, dog. I bet the boat's expensive. So what if you? What if it's like a fifty dollar? What if it's like a thirty dollar, thirty thousand dollar ticket? Because planes can't can't ship everybody. If everybody's exactly. trying to leave, it's gonna be like a fifty to a hundred thousand dollar plane ticket. You would ticket. basically have to be leaving the month before. Yeah, you can just drive to Canada. There's a lot of options. You think Canada gonna open their borders to us when we purging? We can't even go there now. 
Yeah, but you think you think the influx? They probably make sure so, they yeah. they may shut their border down for the day unless you came in. A, you had you had to come like a week a week before. in advance. You had to come a week before. But then do you, do you think Canada want half of the U.S. population there? It's just, it's just that like, is true. It would be it would the the population would just if that was an option, skyrocket. Yeah, like, I'm not saying they wouldn't do. it. I'm just saying could, it would skyrocket. Could Canada withhold that if everybody could just go to Canada? Would they go to Canada? It's not everybody's going to Canada. It's just maybe 10 million people. Because them borders is not pushing through 100 million people. Nigga, it's exactly. going to no, be way more than 10 million. Exactly. No, no, you could technically cross. You just can't go through the popular borders like Buffalo, Windsor. But where like are you, all those 10 people going to be at, though? Like Saskatchewan, my guy. <laughs> Saskatchewan? I can have to go through the Saskatchewan border. See? But it, I feel like I feel like travel or that's gonna not gonna be only for the rich too. They gonna they gonna make their money. Purge is gonna make. Oh yeah, they gonna make. Is the economy gonna boost? It's gonna fail, but boost because no, all no, the no, damage. No, 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 all the infrastructure damage will triumph any potential boost to any. It depends economy. though. If you're charging a hundred thousand, a two hundred thousand, a ticket, he just, just for a plane. Everybody's gonna lie on their taxes in one day. Yeah. So is the opportunity cost of people just doing their taxes legitimately? Yeah. And then it's like, but the at, government could try to block that. They can hire people to try to block certain stuff. What? what? I mean, well, why if you, they block the murder? Huh? Because you remember, the remember they said they could, they could. But you remember how they said like Damn. some government officials are off limits, like the top ten government officials. Yeah, like the IRS is done for that day, nigga. But the government is working so that certain stuff doesn't happen. Because you got you got people that are working Bro, for the good. There's no way that God, the IRS is about to tell me that I can't forge my taxes. When thousands of people are dying. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not There's saying. No way. Listen, low. I'm not saying that you can't. But think about if I work for the government, I'm I'm safe. I'm my job is to block you. If you get past me, by all means. But my job is to block you so the government doesn't lose all that money. But you have the right to. You won't get punished that's not, that's not if the you're case, successful. Bro, because if I wanted to kill you, there's no cops out there stopping me. Because it's the I mean, bird. you can't kill the upper upper government, but everybody else. But yeah. it's my but job no, to but stop you. Know, if he's saying the government official that would stop. People from dying will be cops, and they don't. They're not there. No, the cops are not. The, if you watch the purge, it tells. I forgot the what level of security is available. That's off limits. But I feel like it has to be someone to counter back to. Like if everybody could just do that, the whole it wouldn't be no purpose of the purge. The whole. Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, coach. I just remember there's a new show called. I don't know if it's new. It's called Lockdown Love or something like that, or Love and Lockdown. Mm-hmm. We're like. It's like it's like um what's that series that Big Ed was on? Ninety Day Fiance. Fiance. It's like Ninety Day Fiance, mm-hmm. but instead of that, it's like niggas are falling in love with people who are in jail, in prison. They're boys, boys and girls, men and women. Boys liking boys. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess I mean technically speaking, I guess. And they're weird. Why is that the first question you asked? <laughs> because you said locked down. I don't even love. know the premise of the show yet. <laughs> because when you lock down and you in love, you only lock down with your gender. That's why I was like, boy. Oh no 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 no. There's people outside of jail. Oh. Who find their way to communicate with people in jail, and they fall in love with them. Of course, these people who are outside of jail who fall in love with the people in jail are delusional and Similar, desperate. Probably oh, delusional, okay, okay. desperate. And that's why it's funny. One dude is so desperate that he makes the girl dress like a dill pickle. <laughs> and because he calls her my little pickle, he has a pickle fetish. So she comes to visit him in a pickle suit? When he came out, came out of jail, because yeah. like that, that's a whole like, that's a whole build up to the day he comes out of prison. When he came out of prison, he greeted her, he hurt, she greeted him in a pickle suit. In a pickle outfit, bro. And she smelled like pickle suit? She had a pickle fragrance? I don't know if she had pickle, but she she came out with a pickle. Their first she have or, a pickle? their second date, their second date, he came with a jar of pickles and tried to feed it to her, bro. That's not even the worst one. <laughs> there's a dude, there's a dude on there. I pro- Top notch simp. I've never seen nobody a bigger simp in my life. This dude is dating a white girl who came out of prison. Already, Dr. Umar Johnson will be upset. Dating a white girl. The white girl is just using him. She's still talking to her ex before she went to jail. She was dating somebody, talking to her ex. She's sitting there dating other women in jail and stuff like that. And then 
she had made a comment in passing about like, yeah, I ain't going to take you serious unless you marry me. So he came to jail to visit her with a ring and said, well, I guess you're going to go ahead and marry me. When she came out of jail, he thought that they were engaged to get married. When he goes meet me, her mom, he's like, yeah, you know, we engaged, right? And she's like, no, we're not. Stop telling people we're not. We're not engaged. He spends mad money on Jordans, on purses. She came out of jail first night, did not spend a night with him. Where'd she go? Back to her ex? Go back to her mom's house. Second night, still didn't spend a night with him. So his dick's still wet. Or oh, dry. Dry. It's dry. Third night, she's like, no, come back to my house. She comes back to his apartment. He has flowers and rose petals and lights all around the house. They get into the, the guest bedroom where she, she ends up sleeping for the whole night. He bought her more stuff, more lights and, 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 and rose petals. He buys her lingerie to put on. He's like, yeah, put that on for me. Like, I, I want to. She's like, well, I'll put it on for you, but you're not touching me. Huh? He said, what do you mean? Come on. Come on. Come on. I, can t- I can't touch you. I can- what do you mean? She's like, nope, you can't. <laughs> she puts it on, right? <laughs> he sits down in a chair, and he sees her for the first time half naked. He gets so excited, he takes his shirt off. He's just like, he's so blown away. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm taking my shirt off. She's like, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, you ain't touching me. We're not doing nothing. Sit on your hands. So this nigga is like, like this. <laughs> Sitting on his hands. And she just turns around, twerks on him a little bit. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, babe, are you serious? Come on, let me get something. And she's like, no, I'm done. I'm going in the room. I'm done. He's like, no, babe. No, 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 babe. I need that. No, babe. No, no. And then she closed the door in his face. Biggest simp in America, dog. No cap. Then there's another dude who said, <laughs> look at John. Then there's another dude who gets a girl out of out of prison. As soon as she gets out of prison, her son calls her crying because he's like, Yo, I want to see my mom and stuff like that. I'm going through some stuff. Like, can you come see me, mom? And then the dude is like, Yeah, like, yeah, I know you gotta do a lot, but you know, sometimes it's just best if you kind of just cut your ties. This is the dude saying this to the woman. He's like, what do you mean? She's like, I mean, you know, it'd be sometimes it's best if you kind of just let things go in your life. And she's like, that's my son. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, then, so then they get to the house, and then he's like, yo, you know, something like you, you're going to just figure it out, though. You're going to just figure this one out. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go visit my son. He's like, what do you, wait, what? So then they get into an argument. And then he literally is, like, blaming her because her, her son is, like, crying because he wants to see his mom. And he's like, yeah, I thought he would have been over it. He He's man enough right now. He's 22. She's been in jail for, like, four or five years now. He's 22. He should, he should get over it. He's man enough. That's the problem. You didn't raise your kids right. You just need to stay here. I was like, yo, these niggas are wild. It is by far, <laughs> it's by far worse than 90 Day Fiance. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by Keeps. Keeps has revolutionized the way that men are treated for hair loss. Let me drop a gem on y'all real quick. John, you want to hear this gem? I want to hear the gem. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. And Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way for you to do just that. You go online. There's an online doctor consultation. They give you all the products you need delivered discreetly to your door every three months, which means there's no long pharmacy lines. You had no awkward doctor visits. Everything is delivered right to you for convenience and you can start for as low as $10 a month. I mean, with hair loss, prevention is key. It can take up to four to six months or more, so it's important that you act fast. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of his competitors and it has proven results. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash P-T-P. And it's a huge thank you to Keeps for helping sponsor this portion of the podcast. Is a nigga on there with a baloney fetish? 
bologna. What what is that? What is that? What is that? It's a bunch of random meat in the in the slices. What is bologna? When he, mean? When he came out of when he came out of prison. What, what animal is that from? I don't know. It's a, it is a bunch of random. What? When he came out of prison, the girl literally in her trunk had a huge stick of bologna. A stick? No, let me not, let me not say stick. She had like a, a hundred slices. No, 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 no. It was like just one huge thing of bologna. How big was it? About as big as a pillow. Hey, do your hand thing. How, how, how big was it? What are you doing? <laughs> no, I was saying. Nigga, what are you doing? What are you You, was do, you, you did doing? something. You said something about it was like no, big. No, what are you doing right now? No, you was. <laughs> Every single time you, you, you comment on it, you cupping. <laughs> what, what are you doing, John? <laughs> what are you doing, nigga? You it's dead ass, a, it's a dead ass thing of bologna about as big as a pillow. And he bites into it as soon as he gets out. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, you know I love bologna, bae. That's, a, that's like the filet mignon of prison. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a delicacy. That's a delicacy. Nigga, take your bologna. You might get shanked. <laughs> Niggas do a lot of things for a slice of bologna in jail. No, Hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, John Doe. All right. Oh man, I've been watching reality TV shows, but I've been embarrassed to tell people. Think about getting jail. that show is hilarious. Bro, think watch. about think about how bad jail is. Think about you go to jail, right? And nigga just pick on you right. You get in there and you lose your first fight, and nigga just beat you up seven days straight. <laughs> you got two years sentence. I'm gonna say, imagine you're <laughs> for years, years just getting Yo, your ass. You were there for life, just getting your ass. I feel beat. like I feel like prison is either worse than we think. Or, or not, not as, as bad, bad as we think. No, it, One it, of the two. It depends who you worse. are. Because worse. if you're not gang affiliated or you just not no hard ass nigga or you just don't mind your business the right way, you know what I'm saying? You can't be curious. <laughs> you can't look too long. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to win a fight at least just to hold your ground. But you walk in there, nigga try you. You lose your first fight. Now niggas know your pussy. Not anybody going to try. So niggas that, that got beat on, they're going to try to earn their strikes <laughs> no with cap. you. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna eat. You ever watch? You ever watch Prison <laughs> gonna Break? Be hungry, man. I was so inspired after watching Prison Break growing up. My mama put me in like time out, right? So I go in my room and shit. First hour, you got to be quiet because she's heated. But then after that, you can start to like mess around a little bit. I'm like, how could I escape out my room? I was just scheming like I wasn't on an episode of Goddamn escape Prison Break, man. But, but then there's a there's a show like that. What? There's a show where they put like re- regular people. In prison for ninety days. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a show. I seen that show. And niggas, that's just, and niggas go out bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> this, niggas, I don't like know why got, you sign up. You get paid for that? No, it's they a, just they just want to do it. It's an experiment. It's experience. There's a lot of prison shows. I'm realizing because they also got um Orange Is New Black. That was good for a couple seasons. No, I'm talking about this is real. Like they just yeah, put yeah. you like, but it's like damn. I just think about the worst case scenario. Like you go to jail. Oh, the worst case scenario is you getting taken. Yeah, you get your butt getting taken. You get you get you get beat four days. I don't mean so serious. No, say something crazy. Go ahead for the podcast. (laughs) I don't mean so serious. Why don't you say something crazy? I don't mean so serious. Go ahead. I'd rather get beaten an inch to death before my booty get taken. Okay, that's you. Because when you get (laughs) taken an inch to death, that means you might lose something along the way, like your leg, for example, or a lot of brain cells. I have my dignity. And my and butt is my mine. Butt. My butt is mine, and I have my dignity. You, they could take my ass, and I'm, I still have <laughs> no, my dignity, dog. No, no, I still have my dignity. Because I mean, so I don't serious. Care. You don't no, have your dignity. But, but think about this, bro. Because now you're the they, new nigga that's getting pounded Once they on take it every one, day, you got, bro. You got curly hair, too. They're going to tell you to straighten bro, that they shit. they pounding you every day. They're going to they gonna, they gonna make the toilet water hot and sting him in you and straighten your hair. You are an inch from death. It is not a conversation, bro. But I have my butt. My butt is mine. I'm the owner of my butt. Your butt is also an inch from death. Because remember, you're about to die. But we're going to die together. Untouched and unscathed. Think about it. Think about a a nigga. So I'm about to Let me get Think about six niggas, six, eight, 320 in your butt. Just think about that. Think about that. Just they I'm has a, they haven't seen a girl I, since ninety eight. All right, no, no, <laughs> they haven't seen a girl. No, think about three people, six foot eight, all beating the shit out of you, right? Yep. Now there's no stopping what they're doing to beat the shit out of you. Nope. They could be doing things with their. I mean, they could be putting in any one of your holes, John. We don't know. No, no, no. But we, you're no, coming no, no, in no, no, from no, 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 I'm just getting beat. We're I'm just getting beat. You either getting beat or getting taken. So he can tell you this. No, 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 no. You're gonna have permanent eye damage. Or do they take All right, now I'm gonna be in, in the special area with the special people. Exactly. I'll be I'll be secluded. I can't. They can't put me. In, you lose. You lose eighty percent of your hearing. Or they take your. Wait, how, how long am I in? Am I in for life? You already know. You already know what Waleed gonna do. What's wrong with you? Waleed's well, limping. So. What's it, why are you limping here? Why you limping what happened? Here? 
No, 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 don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. Why would you put that up there? I have to tell you on camera. I told you! There's two more up here. What did I tell you was going to happen? Did it break? Did the glass break? No. Okay, then, so you didn't did tell me. I saw the clip. You didn't. There's, I, it there's didn't nothing fall. you can say. I saw the clip. It didn't. I saw the clip. It literally. Don't tell me this. It did. Don't tell. It did. It literally didn't I break. Did the, the glass break? Did no, the glass no, break? People sent me the clip. I saw the did clip. Did the glass break? No, it didn't. Okay, That's then. not a point. That's not a point. Yo, Elite, would you rather get your ass beat to the to the a brink of death mm-hmm. or have your ass taken? I'd rather, I'd rather beat me to the brink of death. Okay, you guys have too much pride. So how, how, much, how, much, how much? I can't be around y'all in a life and death situation at all. Because y'all don't know where your priorities I, I, I are at. I can't be hey, around no, no, you. No, 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 no. Think about this, though. Think about this, though. How many, am I, are you in there for life or I got a, uh, how many years I got? For what? Like, what's your no, sentence? No, 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 like, like four years. Yeah, four years. And I'm going to, I would really still get beat. Yes. You would, okay, let's say you lose eyesight in one eye, John. Forever. Yeah, I, I'm going out a real nigga. Bro, you have to live with you getting taken forever. Forever. Okay, all right. Like you, you will never shit multiple, the same. Let's be clear. Now, John, let me explain to you what happens when you, you lose an eye. You, you know lose, what they say. You lose depth perception. Your second <laughs> eye lets you know how far things you know, away are You know are what they say, low. You. you know what they say. You know what they say. That, that dick make your butt fat. So you come out of jail with that fat ass looking <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you come out of jail with a fatty. <laughs> niggas going to know what's happened to you. What in that. Okay, okay, John. You're not going to walk the same. You're not going to be the hoop the John, same. John, John, listen to me. Your bone structure going to be different. John, listen to me. Listen to me. You get now, Let's say you lose a leg. You're losing a leg now. But I'm a real nigga with one leg. Niggas try to take my butt. I just I went out fighting. You know what I'm I saying? Need, I need to know how much of a tussle you giving up before somebody so like, just say, you. Oh wait, say he gave you the ultimatum. He come to you. He said, "Look, look, look, look. I'm about to beat the shit out of you." Who's the and biggest guy you know? Who the biggest guy you know? Okay, let's say let's say a what nigga. What if it was Zias? Somebody's biggest Zias. Say Zias, Low, Duke, and me. We all surround you your first day. You said you letting one of us take your butt or we're going to beat you. You got an option. We could take it right now pleasantly. Put a little honey on it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever way, whatever way they do it. Or we could beat honey. your ass right now. Every day, 6 o'clock in the morning, every day. So you get, you get, your, you get your butt Yo, taken. Put something sticky <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in the movie. It was like some jam and honey hey, you or something some like that. Interesting movie. Jam, jam, maybe a little, but honey is sticky. There's no way yeah. a nigga putting I mean, it. Like, slow you down. Niggas want it thinking. sweet. <laughs> yeah, John. Niggas, I'm not about to almost die so that I could say I never got. You, you don't boots. understand. Niggas been in there since oh. 03 I don't give a fuck how long they've and been like, there. And like, you the fresh piece of meat. You haven't been touched yet. You, 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 you. It is your life. Huh? There's nothing more important than that. You have near-death experiences. You ever got hit by a car? Like, you almost fall down the stairs? You was an inch away from death? I can do it again. No, no, no. You dodged consequences. You're getting the life beat the shit out of you, bro. You don't know how you can come out, bro. You think once you, could you get, come out with some brain damage? You think once he get, you think once he get in that butt, that fresh new, new fresh prisoner butt, we gotta change. He gets in that butt. You, you think he gonna no, stop? No, 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 look, 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 look. Let's say you get beat so hard when you hit forty, you get CTE. Now you're depressed. I don't know what that is. It's 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 a it's a condition people get when they take a lot of contact to the head. Agent, everything where, you're saying still doesn't. I'm doesn't talking matter. about depression. Nigga, the loss I'm of going limbs. to be depressed. depressed. I'm gonna have PTSD, me, bro. All I'm gonna think about is Jeffrey slamming me. That I'm gonna be on depressed. the top bunk. I'm gonna be depressed the next day. I get. I'm not taken. gonna lie, bro. I'm shaking that shit off. You I'm can't doing shake my goddamn that shit off. exercises. You gonna I'm be going about my business. They gonna tell everybody in the hospital. No, you gonna be the next, there right with me? I'm not gonna be no fucking hospital. I'm this telling you that much. Gay, you got a train ran on you. You gonna be in the hospital? <laughs> You're not used to that. <laughs> You're going to be right there with me. You may be worse than me. No, they I'm may, not. Because you almost died. You may have internal bleeding. So we're not bleeding. in the same league of who's going to be worse than who. You're going to have anal rippage. Also, okay. also uh, right, he's, he's going to have talking, anal rippage. Realistic case scenario. Let's get realistic, right? Because right, real, let's real, get realistic. Really? Let's get real, really? Get real, really? Stop. Well, let me just say Stop. This. Let me say Stop this. saying things. Let's get realistic. Both cases, right? All right. One case. Okay. Now, the average size. This is not average. No, no, no. We're talking averages because it's realistic, John. So shut the fuck up. The average size is 5.5 inches, right? 
Okay, the average. Now look at that. The the average, average, that's average, this right here. Well, the average ass beating is going to leave you on a brink of death, though. No, 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 no. But no, you're no. not getting no but average. But that's not the, 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 the average ass beating means like you got your bruised the fuck up. You might be lost a bunch of brain cells. The average almost dying death. Like, you know what I'm saying? So in this situation, we're talking you almost died because nah, of a beating. Nah. No, I'm playing my. If I died, if I'm almost bro. dead, I'm coming in the cell. I'm I'm twitching and everything. Nah, like I'm, I'm you're I'm, almost I'm, dead. You're not walking nowhere, bro. No, exactly. If, if you if you talking about an average dick and an average ass beat, no, I'm that's taking not what the average ass. But look, you oh, can't obviously and then obviously. and then no no no. Obviously. If but you dude, tell, you gonna get beat too. <laughs> you can't tell. You you gonna get your butt taken. You gotta be quiet because you you can't tell the officers. So you're gonna be in pain if you tell John, they're gonna beat you. With John, so this you gonna, is not just this is not just a this is not just any taking of my butt. You think this you're is gonna the get worst. your butt? We, I'm gonna say we talking about we talking about the average on both end. I'm definitely taking the average ass beating. If we're talking about the extreme okay, on look, both look, end, look, 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 so look. either I'm taking a near because death. I, hypothetically speaking, if we're talking about the extreme of getting your butt taken, you also have to run into HIV. And you right? Go, and you could possibly die. Right. Yeah, exactly. They don't, they don't got condoms. He ain't exactly. wrapping it up. He ain't wrapping it up. Right? He put it. Oh, okay. Now, okay, okay. Now you hesitate, right? Okay. No, Think no, about no, he no, pulls no, no, out no. nine stop, inches. Because by that logic, think he pulls out nine inches. That's literally not gonna happen ever. <laughs> and he smacks you in the face with it. <laughs> if he smacks me in the face with nine inches, I'm he smacks me. you. And it's a bunch of niggas <laughs> beside. Dying. Hey, it's a it's the king homie, the big homie. He got the oh, nine inches. Wait, wait. And then his niggas behind him, the minions. If you do anything to buck him. Like he just playing with you, and his minions are beside you, watching you. Like, yeah, smacking with him, big homie. Wait, what is that show? Smack what are, what <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do nothing. All right, look, 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 bro. What, if what you is get what is, what is, taken, if you get taken, your issues stop at your ass. If you get the no, shit no, no, beat no. out of you, you don't know if you catch brain damage, if you lost your foot, you don't know what feeling you lost where, or if your body still operates. Bro, there's no way mentally you're the same person after you take it. Bro. Hey, you take no you take nine inches, you'll never be the same. You know you're not the <laughs> same never, mentally. Like, dog. I want you to hold up nine no, inches. You're not. I want you, you to hold up nine not. inches. Nine inches of girth. <laughs> you know you're not the same. Hey, you'll y'all never had too be much the same. pride, man. Y'all had too you much know pride. You're not the y'all same. had too much pride. We're talking about your life now. Look, and think and of he, what if a nigga got stamina like me? What if he going thirty minutes? <laughs> John, stop. stop. Remember, what John, if he's not stop. stopping? You, look, he don't have look, four plays. You can't go 30 minutes and I'm fighting it, bro. Huh? You can't. You this, can't. He's not, there's no way his stamina is that crazy. He'd be an Olympian. Look, guys, I'm talking if it's the Jalipian. average ass beating and the average taking. Anybody on earth is taking the average ass beating, right? Because right. you just take that off. You know what I'm saying? You might be a little concussed, but then you bounce back. I'm, right now, Am I defending to myself, too? Whoa, no. what? So, yo, my girl just said me. That, that's the dude right there. That's the black dude and the white girl? That's the white girl in prison, the black dude who was like on his knees. Mm-hmm. Apparently, she told him no, no um, play, no cookie until you buy me boobs. Ex-Marine who spent over $30,000 on female prison inmate has no clue who's getting finessed on TV. So she's not even going to give him none until he buys her boobs, bro. And then she, yeah. <laughs> That's a demon, Loki. That is a demon. Who's more at fault of that? Um, the guy is just uh, has no sense of like awareness at all and is like naive. But she's like intentionally deceiving him and taking him of. And if he's rich as fuck, maybe it doesn't matter. But I'm assuming this is like taking a lot out of him. And so, and if, especially if he's emotionally attached, she's a demon. He's just dumb, but she's demonic. Um, I, if I ever. If I ever, uh, that's just a scary situation. Yeah, it is. I really just, I just rather say beat me. I couldn't, like, I couldn't let nobody. You got it's an option. It's not just a beating, though, bro. But like, if you, he's looking you dead in your eyes, like, look, like you looking at me. He's looking at you. He's like, yo. You remember Eminem from Eight Mile? He got his ass beat. That's a regular ass beating. He got okay. stomped out. Would you? Boom, I mean, so that's you, a regular ass. Would beating. you rather have a regular ass beating like that? Yes. Okay. No, yes. no, that's not Obviously. a regular. That's some easy. ass beating, but some, when you come close to my life being look, over. It's not even a contest. A, reg- a regular ass beating. Some niggas get jumped and beat up and don't come out unscathed. Like niggas be missing. Oh, well, that's fine. But I still, I, no, I'm no, taking. No, we, we talking like eight miles. Eminem eight, had, eight, a, eight had eight a bruised eye. You know what I'm saying? He felt like a bitch for a little bit, but then he shook it off because he's Eminem. And that's it. That was a regular ass beating. Yeah. When you switch to that beating, you, it builds character. You get better. You get your body gets tougher as you heal. He didn't build no nah. character. He just got beat. <laughs> so what is what is getting taken build? Nothing. <laughs> 
Nothing. It destroys self esteem. That's another <laughs> nigga in your cheeks. It destroys a lot. A lot. Like you, you don't even feel like, and then you gonna have niggas talking about it, gossiping about it in the lunchroom. Who's gossiping about rape? Fatty <laughs> <laughs> just said the word. <laughs> They, they, in the lunchroom, they're like, oh, snap. No, they're a, not, John. Yo, the, men, men gossiping about. <laughs> <laughs> they're not saying that, John. Yes, they are. That's a, wild, that's a wild topic. That's the yard. Like, because think, no, about, yo, you heard, you heard, think about all the other. You heard, you heard think, about all, last think about all the gay guys. Yeah, that dude over there, Agent Zero. No one is saying that, though. That boy got his butt taken first day. He just got in here like 13 hours ago. He, who did it? Jeffrey. Not Big Jeffrey. Yeah, Big Jeff, we took him right to the last stall. The one that's out of out of commission? Yeah, he told him it was working. Yo, niggas gotta be bored in jail if that's what they rumoring about. There's gonna be a lot of anger in me. Yo, uh, do y'all, y'all remember watching 13 Reasons Why? Uh, it wasn't the most recent season, but the one before that season finale where they stuffed a broom up his ass See? and he became a shooter. Y'all remember that? See? What? See? They stuffed, they, there was a guy who got bullied a lot in school. So the, the jocks put him, now they actually edited this out of Netflix because it was so graphic. But they took him to the bathroom and they shoved a broom stick up his shit, bro. And I felt so much anger from, even though I know it's fictional, I was like, yo, I'd kill him. They're dying. Like, they're dead. Unless they're you not living first. another day. A broom stick up your ass. That- and that's how the season ended, dog. That was a cliffhanger for the season ending. Swear to God. Bro, like, you got no, they're going to definitely talk about it because it's, it's a community. Oh, yeah, they gossiped. <laughs> I'm not glad. <laughs> Exactly. They gossiped about that no, the next day. Exactly, I told you. Gossiping about that. Who do you think they gonna talk about in jail? Most of them niggas in jail gay anyway. They're not gay. They're just had options. <laughs> it's gay. Nah, but the, if they had you got an option, option to be celibate. No, no. If they had what an you option mean, no. to, if, they, if you put a if you put a woman in there and a man in there, well, who are they gonna choose? A woman. All right then. But they don't have no option, so you just you gotta do your time and, and then wait till you get out. <laughs> but that they're not. They're not gay. They are bro. gay. Okay, we gotta stop saying the word because YouTube's gonna mark this video. My bad. They, they, they're very. Hey, let's move on to another topic. This video is getting. <laughs> this podcast. This podcast well, well, what do you get, call that? This podcast is getting crazy. If I have, I don't, inter- I don't know. If, if, if I have intercourse with another man, it is my choice. I. But it's I, not really a choice, though. Like, you don't. You don't have. I guess the you other could just choice. jerk off, right? You could. Oh, you're right. That's gay. I mean, you you chose to. <laughs> you told him to stop saying. It. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Chose to my, have. Bad. my bad. That is though. I forgot you could jerk off. Um, yeah, you forgot. You thought the only, your only choice was when, was taking a butt. When are you jerking off though? In your cell. Well, other men around you. Kai did it. Yo, and Kai, <laughs> that was why. That was wild. I mean, Kai did it you seven your, times. You and your. That's just weird. Y'all both simultaneously at the same magazine. Y'all just take pictures out. Yo, pass it up. Flip it to page four for me, and it gets stuck. You know, no, I don't know, man. This is one of them things that I don't want to be in jail to go through that, man, because I like women. I feel like that's not as common as, like, the world makes it, it seem. It's probably not, but it happens enough for me for me not to get involved with that. <laughs> also, No, it happens. It happens. <laughs> have you been to jail? I don't answer that. I've been to jail. Um, oh, you have? Yeah, yeah you told me. I've been sorry. to jail, but not prison, though. Yeah, jail probably is not so bad. No, no, jail is but, jail is like a lot of people like speeding tickets or like got put over with yeah. some weed or something like that. That's not no or DUIs. Like that's not prison is like when you doing time time, and yeah, it's kind of it's kind of tough out there. But if you if you do get caught up in prison, more than likely you've done something to where like when you go to prison, like people know you or something like that, or I would assume so because when when um in that show when they went to prison. Like, the dude, he already knew how to, like, some of them people already knew how to get in with some of the inmates. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm already, like, I'm either with the black people or I'm with the, this gang or I'm with, like, people already knew about me. Or you kind of had to be affiliated. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's very tough. I need to get on my shows, though. And once the NBA season is over with, which is at least two more games, or at most two more games, could be just one more, got to get on my show. Grind. Word. I just play them in the background while I do things. So I don't really be paying attention. Unless it's a fantastic show like Lost or Prison Break. Then I might pay attention. You gotta watch that. Yeah, yeah I'm lockdown. going to. I'm going to now that you said that. That love lockdown game show, whatever it is. That love lockdown, man. Uh, I think that's it though. Any 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 other final words, dog? Nah, man. Just a thank you to everybody, man. man. Hit top one in gaming. Oh, we didn't we didn't talk about this last time on NCAA finally letting um athletes make money. How you feel about uh, that? NCAA is a scamming organization. It's not a nonprofit. The fact that think about this now: the men's basketball and men's football. In some programs, also women's basketball are the only profitable programs, which means that badminton, rowing, uh, lacrosse, every other sport does not exist if those don't exist. The athletes that make their programs billions, 
sometimes, definitely millions and millions of dollars, don't get a cent of it because it gets distributed to all the other sports. So you've officially decentivized people being able to go to college unless you're now the top Division One schools that could afford to pay the athletes and support all their other programs. Yep. The other some Division One programs definitely D two D three is not going to be able to afford that. Yep. So that's tough for those other programs. NCAA got backed up. Um, I I was pissed N- NBA ever changed their rule to force people to go to college for a year. Is that going to college for one year has not proven to improve the lives of no athlete ever. You don't learn nothing in that one year. There's nothing, nothing. It's literally we, a joke. It's actually laughable. Literally, about and, and we know that. And they use bus. They use bus like Kwame Brown as an example for why like you needed that rule. But it's like on the other side, you can use examples like LeBron and Kobe, or Kevin Garnett. And it's like or Moses Malone. There's examples going both ways. If you're not ready and you feel like you need to go to college or the G League or Australian League, do whatever you want to do. But the option should be yours. You shouldn't. They're 18. The decision to do what they want with their life is theirs. Let them do it. If they want to go to Duke and get paid big money to play at Duke, then they could do that. If they want to go to the G League, and then they could do whatever. They're going straight to the NBA. See, that was a that was, that was really the problem is that there were starting to be yeah. way too many op- opportunities in other places. And that's why, because they missed out on Lamelo. The they, fact that Lamelo even went to another league to play, yeah. The fact that Lonzo went to another league to play uh, is is crazy because you just brought so much attention to other leagues and yep. in competition with him. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I so think Lamelo did it. No cap, Lamelo might have been like the the thing that finally pushed it over the edge. And, but then not only that, then the NBA also they're changing the rules. Next year is the last year. Yeah. So then it's like, all right. So like now we can go straight to the NBA. Other players are proven we can just go in other leagues or overseas. And then they also have the G League who's also doing, like, two-way contracts. Mm-hmm. So there's, like, literally, what's the point? So the NCAA, the only reason why they changed it isn't because they were being progressive or anything. It's because it's out of necessity. Because they know for a fact in the following years, the amount of star athletes that they could potentially miss out on, they're going to ruin, they're gonna ruin it for, for centuries, <clears throat> they claim that the reason they couldn't pay these athletes is for amateurism, that they wanted to make it like a pure, just it's all about the sport. And in reality, everyone that watches NCAA knew that they were lying, that they just didn't want to deal with the additional expense. And now that they've went back on that, it's like, first of all, this is not a nonprofit organization. It's just not. But if we're going to claim it as, um, I don't know. I think, I think that the whole, it's crazy. Cause I didn't, until moving to Georgia, I didn't realize why, like how many people watch college sports. Because there wasn't many people watching it growing up where of I'm course, at. Of uh, but people love that shit here. They didn't care that players is getting exploited. Yep. They didn't give less of a shit. Yep. It's just like, I want my entertainment. And people find it in college athletes sometimes instead of professional athletes. And what's crazy is you haven't, I don't, you still haven't seen the worst. Go to Alabama, certain parts of Florida, Texas, and it's like a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Al- I've, Alabama, I've, they talk about Roll Tide like it's an actual professional team. It's, it's wild. More than a professional team. I've been to Alabama. That's where I got my uh, gym equipment at. Okay. I ain't just stick around, but I drove through the shit, picked up my stuff, and immediately Skid left. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, and I've been to Texas before. Texas appreciates their pro sports, but they love they love high school and college sports. High school teams have, like, stadiums there. Yes. Like, they shit it on my – my university has a way smaller gym than Texas high school teams. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's crazy. And I'll just I'll, I'll just also say this. It, it is amazing to me. Like I I knew it was BS when I would hear people try to make arguments about like, like arguments against it. And be like, "But how, how are you going to know like how much we're going to pay the athletes like the students?" I'm like the same way you you do in the professional level. Like in one more year he's going to also have to figure that out anyway. Like he's going to realize the number one pick, overall pick is going to get paid more than the fifteenth overall pick, so that that already exists. Why? Why is that a people are just dumb? People oh yeah, are, they were just making up. Like it was just people would just bring up the smallest obstacle, and they're like, I guess we can't do nothing about college just athletes getting can't. paid because there's this very small obstacle that solutions exist for. But I mean, it's not clear to me. Like you're dumb. You're pretty dumb. You're a dumb individual. But hey, I'm I'm happy for the athletes that are going to get paid. It sucks for the D one pro. Story. Oh, yeah, uh, destroying, yeah. man. Destroying, excuse me. Because he got packed up from university. He was a famous case where he was dropping YouTube videos. 
Um, YouTube videos. Too. And they didn't like that he made money from his YouTube videos and he had to decide YouTube or college. And he left college to do YouTube. Best decision of his life. No cap. And since then, he got a chance at the CFL. That was some good content. And I, I believe it's only a matter of time before he gets a chance at the NFL. I'm about too. to say, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Only a matter of time. Okay. That's a talented guy. Very, Very athletic. Talented. Very talented. Also, we do got an extra podcast this week with uh, the Porn Star Quick Update. She got a BBL, a couple other things going on in her life. So if y'all do want to check that out, make sure you click the link in the description to Patreon. Also, just other exclusive content, Patreon as well. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace.